Oh, not even a foot. Oh my gosh, how far? If you push the stick in, it changes to uh, what I call 3D. Oh. So it's high 3D here. What? Hey, hi! I've been flying the uh, A600 by XK for about three to four weeks, and it's actually a really fun plane. Uh, it kind of grows on me, and I actually like it a whole lot. Um, it's got a 6G and an Acro mode, so at 6G, it's really stable. Uh, it's very easy to fly. Uh, you just have to have some a bit of experience in terms of flying and landing an airplane on a simulator. If you can land it on a simulator, uh, this should be alright for you. Um, I believe it's about $78 or so this plane. It's pretty fun. Uh, it comes with a radio, a really small radio, but since it's uh, Futaba compatible, I just use any of the SK radio. Uh, with uh, 6G, it's really simple to fly. And an echo mode, you can switch it to echo mode, you could do that too. And you can do pretty much anything, Cuban, half Cuban, XK-A-600 Beaver I think it's Oh uh, XKA six hundred. Hot glue, hot glue, what you gonna do? I'm gonna take off from the other side. Six G right now. Oh, not even a foot. Oh my gosh, how far? No way. <laughs> I want it. Sixty-eight dollars, I think. Does it come P and F? Yeah, that's it. Ready to fly with this radio. It's oh, our it's a fully RTF. Yeah. It's sending the wind really well. Right back up.
decided that there were probably better looking airplanes, more appropriate airplanes. And so we, we settled on the, uh, on the de Havilland Beaver. Do you add a model to a XKX7? It's really simple. Power on. You will notice it's model zero right now. You can add up to nine models for this radio itself. So we're gonna add model one to it. To do that, you hold down these two keys, the mode and the back key. You hear the beep and you have model select. This dial allows you to select the menu. So for this case, model selection. Press it down to select. Change it to one. And it's an airplane mode already. The back button gets you to the menu. And then the back button gets you back to the front. That's it. To buy with a new radio transmitter, all you have to do is reset the receiver by using a screwdriver. Notice that the um, 6G, 3G switch is not kicking until you draw that one. Now that's activated. So if you are at 6G, you notice that the elevators move really slowly. In 6G, you get a coordinated turn. Both the uh, ailerons and rudder will turn at the same time. It's all mixed in. And the same applies to the elevator. When you throttle up, you get a bit of the elevator up too. It's all programming, uh, mixed in onto the flight controller, so there's nothing to change on the radio transmitter. Whereas in 3G, it's a lot faster. Coming up next is the XKA1200, same, it's got the 6G as well as Aircrew 3D. Until then, have a good day. Don't forget to check out the description for updates and the prizes. Until the next time, see you around. I'm Chris and Ryan and Neil. <laughs> Happy Halloween!